subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications hi friends welcome back to best way to study so this video is very very important to all the students who are preparing for mz basically if you follow the things which i'm going to tell you in the video you are going to get very very good rank and the students who haven't started their preparation yet even you can be close to uh, a qualification marks okay so yes now let's begin this video without any delay first uh, i'm going to tell you what are we going to discuss in this particular video okay so first i'm going to tell you what are the short term tricks which you have to follow in order to get good rank in mct exam and in second part of the video you will be knowing what is the last minute strategy for mct which every mct aspirant must know okay so yes in between i will also speak in telugu for my telugu students okay so need not worry i'll repeat the same point even in telugu so yes now let's begin this video without any delay guys if you want a good rank make sure you have to have to watch this video till the end because this video is going to have a lot of imp important information regarding mset okay so yes now let's begin this video without any delay first important thing which i would like to discuss is what are the last minute tricks okay last minute tricks for the mset preparation okay so first important tip is guys first analyze your performance okay so so far just analyze your preparation okay for for i'm taking example of mpc students coming to mpc students you'll have three different subjects right you'll have mathematics physics and chemistry first try to analyze your um, your performance or preparation with all these three individual subjects okay how good are you with mathematics how good are you with physics how good are you with chemistry for example if you are a student who is very very good with physics and chemistry but you are not really sure about mathematics now you have to use most of your time for mathematics because all three of these subjects will have the equal vital role in order to give you a good score okay so uh, for example let's take example of your intermediate okay so coming to your intermediate if you get good marks and if you maintain that level only your percentage is going to be increased okay for example if if you got 90% in all the subjects but in one particular subject if you get only 40% obviously your percentage will come down same technique you have to use even for the mset students okay what you need to do is give equal priority to all the subjects if you feel if you are uh, if like you know you are really not good with any of the particular subject concentrate mostly on that subject give double the time to that particular subject okay for example if you are studying 8 hours per day out of 8 hours at least 4 to 5 hours you have to give to, to that particular subject in which you are weak okay so i'm repeating the same point even in telugu just a quick review okay uh, so guys uh, my telugu students first mid jails in pane intente meeku unna subjects lo meeru endulo aithe weak anukuntunnaro aa aa subject ki meeru ekkuva priority ivvadam start cheyandi endukante mset lo manji rank raavali ante moodu subjects like if it is like you know for uh, mpc students aithe meeku maths physics chemistry ee moodu subjects ki equal ga manchi marks raavadam important okay na oka subject lo meeku chaala takkuva marks vachina total ga mee rank anedi effect avutundi andukani mee cheyalasindi entante moodu subjects lo edaithe meeru weak anukuntunnaro aa subject ki koncham ekkuva time ivvandi and ekkuva prepare avvandi okay so guys coming to the tip 2 okay so what is tip 2 important topics okay so guys uh, most of the students will do few mistakes okay what will they do if they have 20 topics out of those 20 topics 
they will read all the 20 topics but before doing that you have to understand a simple logic out of 20 topics only 10 to 12 topics will have high weightage and they will be like so much important compared to any other topic for example if um, in mathematics if you have 20 chapters for example if you have 20 chapters out of 20 chapters 10 ch from 10 chapters you will get four to five questions from each of the chapters and remaining and from remaining of the 10 chapters you will just get one or two questions obviously you have to give more priority and more importance to these first 10 chapters which from which you are going to get 10 uh, six questions from each chapter okay it's important right obviously when there are two chapters from one chapter if you are getting six questions from second chapter if you are getting only one or two questions how can you give equal priority to both these it's it's not possible right you have to give most priority to this particular chapter from which most number of questions are going to be asked in the exam okay so use this logic concentrate on the high weightage and important topics okay so to my telugu students in already video chesa no uh, like ekko important topics anni kuda nenu cheppanu aa important topics meeda ekko concentrate cheyandi endukante meeku unna anni topics lonchi equal number of questions raavu oka chapter nunchi six questions adugutaru oka chapter nunchi four questions adugutaru ఒక చాప్టర్ నుంచి ఓన్లీ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ వస్తుంది అలాంటప్పుడు మీరు ఎక్కువ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఇవ్వాల్సింది కొన్ని చాప్టర్స్ కి ఏ చాప్టర్స్ నుంచి అయితే ఎక్కువ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడుగుతున్నారు కదా అప్పుడే మీ స్కోర్ అనేది బాగుంటుంది అందుకనే మీరు హై వెయిటేజ్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్స్ మీద ఎక్కువ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ చేయండి ఓకే సో ఇయర్స్ గైస్ కమింగ్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ కమింగ్ టు మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ స్పెషల్లీ ఫర్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ గివ్ so much priority to the formulae if you don't know formulae you will not be able to solve the problems okay and to my uh by pc and uh, physics students also i'm going to tell you something physics uh basically coming to physics you have to concentrate on the problems also equally not just theory from physics you are also going to get problems concentrate on them equally and to my bipc students you have to concentrate on each and every important diagram okay so we uh they will ask you uh like they'll give you diagrams in the exam and they'll ask you what is the name of a particular part of the diagram even these kind of questions will come so if you really want rank below 1000 or 500 you have to concentrate on all of this okay so yes guys coming to the next important point which i have repeated many many times but still it's really important that is go through your revision notes okay so i already told in my previous videos uh what what i told in my previous videos guys while you are preparing something if it is max if if um while solving a problem if if you have a particular formulae and if you are unable to remember that formulae note it down in a short notes and whenever you get a break or whenever you get a free time what you need to do is you have to revise that formulae again and again okay so to other students also even physics and bio if you feel like especially for physics students uh, you have to concentrate on uh, like uh, for mpc students you have to concentrate on the chemical reactions and all coming to the chemistry and to my bio students if you feel any term or any word is difficult and you're unable to remember it note down it in your book and keep revising regularly okay so yes coming to the next step what you need to do is you have to solve as much as many as previous papers possible okay because they, these like you know once you solve the previous papers it, it basically has two advantages first advantage is you will understand what kind of questions are coming right in if you follow the previous papers you will understand what kind of questions are coming and what or what difficulty level is there for those questions this is the first thing which you will understand and second advantage of following the previous papers is guys trust me at least 30 to 40 percent of the similar questions 
from previous year's papers will repeat each and every year. Okay. So I'm repeating this point 30 to 40 percent of similar questions, not the same questions, similar questions. Okay. Remember this. And next last important last minute trick is uh, you have to prepare a strict timetable as you are having just last few days left for your exam use it very very effectively guys okay so uh, like you know if you are a student who already prepared prepared well you have already done with your preparation use this particular of last moment for your revision okay revision is very very important note down my point okay once you revise only you will be remembering the things okay once you prepare and if you don't revise you'll forget the things that's why make sure to revise it again and again and for the students who started the preparation recently or who didn't complete their preparation yet what you need to do is work hard at least for eight to ten hours a day okay and it's really important to use these last few days very effectively in order to get good score okay uh, so no more distractions these last days are meant to be work hard like you know meant to work hard so instead of uh, distractions or any other things just concentrate only on MZ because MZ will really fetch you a good college students okay so it's going to like you know once you work hard now uh, next four years will be sorted trust me okay so for engineering students so it's really important that's why please use this time effectively like these are the last minute tips and tricks in order to get a very good score okay so now what are we doing we are going to discuss what is the most important last minute preparation strategy okay so guys what is preparation strategy i'm going to tell you subject wise okay so guys first coming to the mathematics Concentrate on the formulae, practice more and more kind of problems, okay? And uh, coming to the preparation strategy for physics, give equal priority for your uh, theoretical as well as problem, like, you know, even problems will appear in your exam, okay? So give equal importance to the problems as well as theory, okay? This is important for your physics. Uh, this is important strategy for your physics. And yes, coming to the chemistry, you have to concentrate on equations, very, very important. And coming to my bio PC, like bio students, concentrate on the terms, okay, the hard terms, concentrate on them. And um, you have to also concentrate on the diagrams, it is very important, okay. So keep practicing, like, you know, uh, keep revising the things which you're feeling as hard, so no problem, you are going to remember it at the end of the day. So yes, uh, and quick revision is always, always important. Once you wake up, uh, start your schedule as soon as possible because the early you start your preparation, the fresh you feel and the more you can, like you know, the, the concentration also will be at high level. Okay, so that's why start your preparation at least by six o'clock in the morning. Okay, and uh, you can end it uh, by six o'clock in the evening and from six take a couple of hours break okay if at least till nine you can take the break or oh, sorry uh, till seven seven thirty you can take the break okay or even eight have your dinner everything just sort out just you are sorted out uh, for the day and eight to nine is important time which you have to concentrate only on the revision okay so whatever you studied for the entire day you have to revise it from this uh, from eight to nine in the evening not just eight to nine okay whenever you sleep at least before two hours of that put a schedule revision separate revision schedule and make sure you revise at that particular time because the revision is very very important guys trust me okay so yes, that's it for today, guys. Please, please subscribe our channel so that you will get many, many other useful NSET videos also. So please support our channel. We are really, really working hard for you guys to bring out more and more useful and helpful videos. So please support our channel as it is number one NSET channel. Okay. 
so yes please subscribe subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that whenever we upload uh mcet videos you will be notified so subscribe hit the bell icon please like the video at least uh help our uh, video reach uh 1000 likes at least please show your support and uh, also share this video with all your friends and classmates so that even they can watch this video and um, it will be useful for them also so yes guys please subscribe hit the bell icon like and share and please support our channel and help our channel reach at least 50k subscribers as soon as possible so yes that's it for today thanks for watching see you in my next video